Uh, the first thing we decided we were going to do next is uh, paint this wood and since we want to have kind of a some depth to the uh, backdrop here uh, we can this is supposed to be pavement uh, and we're continuing that up just a little bit onto the backdrop here and in the meantime we decided we're not going to paint anything up here until we decide if we're going to use a, a print and blend it in uh, because I would hate to have clouds that were cut off and have to basically start over with that. So we're just going to leave this as is even with the, the white showing through for now uh, except for the bottom here where we're going to try and continue that, that look of, of this pavement off of the layout. Uh, so the next thing that we also decided we need to do is get the ballasting done on these two tracks, which I'm about to do. Um, I'm going to set it up the same way I did over on that end of the layout. I'm going to take some of this painter's tape and I'm going to fold it over. And the folded over section will stick up to the top and I'm just going to kind of come along the edge here to make sure the ballast stays up here. Again, when we did the, our first round of ballasting on the, the town side of the layout, we had trouble with the ballast falling off and we couldn't get to stay where we wanted it. So it's easier just to get it in here like this and then reshape it. The reason we want to do this next is when we took this off of the industry side of the layout here, it removed some paint with it. Also, just with ballasting with the glue, it's going to leave some staining going down. So since we've only done a base coat at this point, before we finish it off, we want to make sure we have all of the, the ballasting along the stuff of this color finished. So that's going to go all the way down to our bridge on this end. And once we get that done, we should be ready to, uh, to paint this whenever whatever we want to. You can see we have this tape run all the way down here to the edge of this uh, rock section here by the bridge. Uh, so it, I know it looks like a single piece of tape, but we did the doubled up tape on the top and then just put a second piece in here uh, to support it. So when we come back through here after ballasting, there's going to be some material that needs to be removed from here. And I'll just use an old file to kind of chip away at what's there until we get the shape that we want. I'm getting this ballast glued down here on the back. Um, so we've got the tape up here, the ballast spread pretty evenly. All this loose stuff back here I just swept out of the way with my, this is what I'm using to uh, move the ballast around. And I'll gather that up later and, and uh, save that for future use. But just coming along here, have my rubbing alcohol water mixture, uh, wetting that uh, generously, just doing small sections. This wood glue is just up here as a marker because I've just done up to this point at this, at this time. And working my way across, this is the, the bottle we're using to apply the glue uh, water mixture. It's about three parts water, one part white Elmer's glue, and a few drops of dishwashing liquid. Um, you can see we do have seepage over here just like we had on the end. It's going to happen with this edge here. So we're just going to continue working until we get this all the way down to the bridge. Get it all glued down and we'll let that dry for a few days. And just like that we just finished up the ballast on that section. So there's, a, there's our main tools that we use for ballasting. I know we've shared this in previous videos. A lot of people aren't fans of this that sled, but it does do a good job of applying the, the amount of ballast you need between the rails. So here's what it looks like from this end of the layout. So we've made it all the way down there. Uh, we personally do decided not to do turnouts. What we do is, see we made it all the way down here to our, whatever we decide is a bridge here. Um, we do along the sides of the turnouts, but we don't actually do in, in the actual turnout section. I know you can do it, but I mean turnouts are so expensive that someday when we build a different layout, uh, we're going to want to probably reuse these 
and I don't want to have any issues. So like I said earlier, all this loose ballast on the back, I just kind of brushed that out of the way and I'll collect that once everything is dry here uh, for use in our next section. So we're going to kind of wait for this to dry a couple days. Um, you can see where the, the glue is coming down a few places, that, that mixture is coming down a few places on the edge here. It's exactly what happened on the other end, but in the end, the final effect was good. The ballast stuck, so we'll come along in a couple days. I'll take the tape off carefully and use an old file to kind of profile that edge how we want it. And once this is done, then we can continue with the uh, rock treatment, uh, whatever we decide to do with the paint along the whole thing here. And as a matter of fact, I think we may actually redo the other end once this is completed. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next one.